Oh my word. This is terrifying. <laughs> but it's so incredible. I'm just gonna hold into the wolf, cling on for my life. Oh my word. Wow. King of the road King of the road King of the road Hello, here we are in Hummus um, we finally got the bike out of the sand. <laughs> um, we were able to enjoy the sunset. Uh, and now I'm having dinner with Mojtaba and Nada. Um, who are just so, so lovely. They've come all the way from, from Tehran. Oh, and we've got this, yes. We've got, look at this. It's Iranian cola. <laughs> so, I'd heard it wasn't too great, but actually, if you didn't tell me it wasn't, I would think it was Pepsi or cola, because I know it's not. I was thinking it was different, but actually, if you gave it to me in England, or if I gave it to you and you didn't know, you would think it was Pepsi or Cola. But it's like, yeah, it's incredible. I love it. But yeah, so now we've got some food. I've no idea what it is, but it looks incredible. Galiamohi. Galiamohi. Ah, sounds amazing, whatever it is. Sounds great. Right, I'm gonna go, because it's gonna get cold. Right, safe. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Hummers. It is about 5.45 or so in the morning uh, and I have met up with Mojtaba and Nada, the two lovely people I met while I was doing some off-roading uh, yesterday afternoon. And then I watched the sunset with those guys, then I had dinner with these guys and they said, let's meet up again in the morning and do some more exploring because it's uh, nice to do it before it gets too hot, but I've got to admit, I'm absolutely sweating already. I'm roasting. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, it feels like temperature doesn't seem to change. It doesn't seem to drop down at night. And if it does drop down, it seems to drop by like only like a few degrees. <laughs> anyway, so we're now heading to sort of the, I guess is it the north? The north side of the island, maybe? Um, I have no idea, what, I don't even know. Or is it the south? I'll be in the north. Who knows? Anyway, we're heading somewhere on the other side of the island, uh, do some trekking up some mountains. You can see in the distance. Actually, you probably can't see it because the GoPro makes everything look rubbish. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, I'm pretty excited to uh, do some exploring. I didn't get much sleep last night. I was very busy working, so I literally probably got like half an hour of sleep. So um, I guess in the middle of the day when it's super, super hot, I'll head and take a little nap. That seems to be what all the locals do, actually. Um, they seem to have a very weird sleeping pattern, especially during Ramadan as well. They uh, seem to be up all night. Um, and then during the day, when it's super hot, they sleep, and that's when they can't eat, so that's when they sleep. And then they're awake when they can eat, especially on the island. The island life seems to be completely different again. Look at this, this is spectacular. Wow. This is one of my favorite spots on the island, because you've got the beautiful mountains on the left, the beautiful sea on the right. Oh, it's just awesome. There also seems to be some wild gazelle roaming around the island as well, which is also really cool. Another discovery I've also recently made is that, I mean, it's taken me, so what, seven weeks in Iran to figure this out? Obviously women are covered up, um, but also men can't wear shorts. So, I was, yeah, where, where was it? Was it all that when I was in Yazd, maybe? I was in my shorts in my room, and I was about to go outside to go to my bike and get some stuff. And I, I don't know why, it just suddenly, it just suddenly hit me. I was thinking, wait, I've not seen anyone wearing shorts. 
in the whole of Iran. And I was starting to think back, trying to think of all the people I stayed with, and I'd not seen anyone wearing shorts outside in public. So I put some trousers on just in case. Anyway, when I got to Homaz, I then asked someone, and they said, yeah, men don't wear shorts in public. So men can't show their legs. How fascinating is that? So everyone, you know, obviously everyone knows that women are covered up, but I wonder if everyone knows that men can't wear shorts. Is that a known fact? Or maybe, maybe it's just me being stupid. But anyway, if anyone who didn't know, that is your top tip for the day. This is so surreal, being on this main, I guess, kind of main road of the island and there's no one around, just... You know, it, being in Iran, it's all been pretty crazy. Always seeing people who want selfies and to talk and whatever, and now to suddenly be, you know, alone and quiet, it's, it's, it's incredible. I'm actually I'm really enjoying life on this island. It's so nice after a crazy time in Iran, which has been amazing. It's also so nice just to have a bit of rest, kind of. Like a holiday from the holiday. Wow! Look at all that salt! Whoa! There's so much salt rock on this island. And uh, is it red ochre as well? You've got this sort of special sand as well. Then it's a, there's a silver beach, which has got silver sand that sort of glistens in the sunlight and then glows at night. You've got all these amazing different coloured rocks in this island. This is like a hidden gem. Oh, looks like we're heading off now. Doing some off-roading. Wish me luck. Good morning and welcome to the silent valley. valley. I've never seen anything like this in my life. This is spectacular. Mushtaba and Nada. This is the Persian Gulf. Over there somewhere is Dubai. This is unbelievable. It's like a 200 meter drop down there. Look at this. Oh wow, well, I'm gonna go in now and just enjoy this view because this is spectacular. All right then. Rad safe. Ciao, ciao. Okay, here we go. I hope I don't die. Look at this scary drop. Ah. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now's a good time to tell you that I'm, I have a massive fear of heights. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so incredible. I'm just gonna hold into that wolf thing with my life. Oh my word. Wow. Oh wow. Hello! So here we are on this incredible, incredible viewpoint. This is probably possibly the best view I've ever seen. This is just Spectacular, we're gonna come round this scary rock face to get here. Oh my word. And there's some sharks as well swimming below that you can't see. Absolutely. So it's super early in the morning. It must be just after six o'clock. And it's just spectacular. The light is beautiful, there's no one around. This is just, I'm speechless. It's definitely one of my favorite moments on this trip. This is incredible. And I also have a massive fear of heights as well. So this is like, and I've got like a 30 minute sleep last night as well, so I'm half asleep. This is probably the best thing to do when you're tired. But it's definitely woken me up with the adrenaline. Right, that's it, I'm gonna go. Enjoy the view.
this beautiful little island which has just become my favorite place in the world. It's like paradise. It's now probably half six or so in the morning, maybe a little later, and it's just unbelievable. So, so amazing. And now heading off to these, uh, see the red beach, the red sand beach with uh, Mojtaba and Nada. Oh, wow. So, so cool. Whew. So yeah, we've just been to see the um, amazing cliff face. That was just breathtaking. I don't think the video, any video will do that justice. It was just unbelievable. And of course, it's getting hotter and hotter every minute. That was <laughs> so crazy. This island has so much to offer. It's just spectacular. You've got some beautiful secret white beaches, you've got some silver beaches, some red beaches, some salt rock, I mean, you've got salt caves. And it's only an eight, eight kilometer diameter island. I mean, it's just um, it's like a hidden gem. When I thought of Iran, I mean, I don't know anyone who's, who comes here. I don't know, no one's ever told me about this place. So I'm now telling all of you, come here. If you're coming to Iran, you're doing a trip, um, if you've got a small bike, then get your bike over here because it's unbelievable. Oh, wow. Hondas should never do this. now heading to the red beach as you can see already the sand is already red a sign of things to come oh yeah oh my gosh why am I so bad at riding on sand what is the technique somebody please tell me
and welcome to what I believe is called the Red Beach. Uh, because if you look here, you can see this. Oh, it's actually red. Okay, yeah, I'm just on the phone it looks normal. <laughs> but it's actually red. All this red rock. It's a fun journey down here. What a day, what a day. on our way to meet some people who have been living on this beach for the past few months. Just living off the land. It's kind of like into the wild style. It's just incredible. Oh wow. Oh look, here they are. 